Hey guys, on today's video I just want to show you some tips how to buy an older Mac. Uh, even if you're buying a newer Mac, it's okay. We can give you some tips of what to buy and what not to buy, okay? So we're going to start off with an older Mac right here. Now this is the type of Mac that I wouldn't buy. Now, not, not because it's old, because old ones can still work for years to come. Uh, so that these are 2008. So if you see where signs like this, it doesn't matter. That just means they put their palm there, it comes up. Usually your keyboards is usually pretty good. Now you do want to test each one out. So open up anything on the Mac. So you should turn it on and test it out. So once you turn it on, just test out each one that it works. Okay, if you don't feel anything bad with it or anything. Um, even if some are kind of loose, don't worry about it. They don't cost much to replace on eBay. You can get for three bucks each key. So it's not that bad. Um, what you guys want to watch out for is dents like this. For example, this dent. It's not too bad, but it's bad. So um, that wouldn't be a main reason why I wouldn't buy this Mac. But if I see this dent, plus another dent here, another dent there, and um, this, you can see it's coming off right there uh, because of the dent right here, another one, then I wouldn't buy it. So if I only see one dent right here on the side, which is very common, um, with Max, not that they dent easily, they don't. Um, but if you see one that does have one little dent, it's okay. I wouldn't, I would, you know, take some points off because of that. But um, if you guys see anything wrong with the screen itself, like this crack here, then again, don't buy it. Um, why is this crack bad? Well, the screen itself isn't bad, um, but there's connections here that go and that they get damaged. So uh, whether it's your Wi-Fi or connection to the screen, in this case, this Mac is working. However, this crack here does affect it sometimes. You do have to slightly press on the screen um, sometimes because you get a line throughout it. So in order to get the full screen again, you guys have to press on the screen just a little bit and it goes back to normal, okay? So this is still working, still okay. However, um, that's done for it. And once you turn on the Mac, okay, on, let me just show you the battery from this one. So for an older Mac, this is the battery, okay? So you can press this. So this battery, although it has full charge, okay? And uh, you should always tell them to bring the Mac fully charged, just so they don't say, oh, it's out of battery, we cannot test it out. <laughs> Too bad, you have to test it out no matter what, okay? Um, with an old battery like this, 2008, this one lasts around 30 minutes. So it's not that bad actually for 2008. However, I do get that warning, okay? Um, you will get a warning right here around the screen. You will get a warning about the battery. It tells you usually that you have to replace the battery and you actually do have to listen to those warnings. What happens if you leave this battery in? Um, although it might work for 30 minutes right now, Later on, what happens once you start getting those warnings after maybe a month, maybe after six months, you don't know when it's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen. These batteries start to expand, okay? They become like a bubble. And what happens on the trackpad, you will see a bubble, okay? And sometimes it messes up your trackpad, sometimes you get it right on time, sometimes it explodes, sometimes it just becomes so big that you can't get the battery out, although it's one of these batteries that you can't get out really easily. Uh, not like the new ones that you have to unscrew in order to get the battery out. So a warning on the battery just means the battery is useless. And yeah, so I have this warning with this battery, it's still working, there's no bubbles, there's nothing wrong with it yet. However, once you get that warning, just count not having this. Maybe use it for emergencies, but other than that, you need to have it connected and that's it. Now, a Mac is fully functional without its battery as long as you plug it into electrical output, so you're fine. So you don't really need a battery in order to test it and work it, okay? So take that out right away if you see something like that. Now consider that they are kind of expensive. Uh, they're around 100 bucks to replace, so you have to count that into the money. Now that's for an older Mac. That's a 2008. Now let's look at the unibody ones. Now these came out 2009. Um, you can still see some 2009 like this, not non-unibody ones. Uh, the unibody ones are these ones, so that just, um, you can see the difference with the keyboard and all that stuff. Um, the battery's built inside, you can still take it out and change it up. 
Um, so it doesn't mean that you can't, just because it's unibody. You can take it out. So if you get that warning, I would take out the battery right away. Um, whether it's a MacBook Air, same thing. You can just take out the screws, take out the battery right away if you get that warning. Now some Macs, you may want to check on the warranty. I'm gonna show you how to check on the warranty in the last bit of the video. But um, if it has Apple Care, that's great. You don't really need a booklet. You can just check that online. But that's how the booklet looks like if the person has it. Now, again, like I said, you don't need the booklet in order to check if you has Apple Care. You could have Apple Care and they don't have the booklet. Doesn't matter. That's nothing to do with it. But they might have it anyways. Um, so, what you guys need to check. Sometimes people have these cases on them. These cases are great. They will maintain your Mac pretty much new all the time. So that's great to have on your Mac. So even if you get a used one, I suggest getting one of these. Um, they do break kinda easy, as you can see. There's no dents on my Mac, but however this broke. Um, I can tell you I haven't bumped this Mac into anything at all. At any time, this actually doesn't move from this desk. And yet this broke off a little bit. Um, that could just be due to the pressure that's added on a little bit, so maybe um, when I took it out a little bit, it broke off, but that's normal. That's okay because these cases are $10, $20 in some cases. Depends where you get it from, um, but they're usually around 10 bucks, and they're good. I mean, they will protect your Mac against scratches. So you could see some Macs without any scratches now that people are using more and more of these things. Some people may even have a screen protector, which is great as well. It does just getting one of those. Um, I don't usually get those for my Macs. I don't really see them that necessary, but they're good to get anyways. Um, so again, you guys don't want to get any dents on them or anything like that. Make sure the warranty, uh, if they tell you that there's warranty, then you can check it out. Make sure to always ask how old the Mac is. Now, if you're looking at a Mac like this, now a version of um, 2010, for example, could look exactly the same thing as a 2014. So always ask for what the model is. Okay, could be a model 2012 and they could have got it in 2013. That happens and um, it's very frequent that that happens. So the model doesn't really mean that it's that old. It's just that model the year. Um, so just ask them how long, how old the Mac is so you can check out the warranty after that. Usually people lie and tell you, oh, it's six months old or I just got it last week. And yet when you go and check out the warranty online, you guys will see that there's no warranty on it anymore. So that means it's over a year old or maybe it's refurbished. Who knows? If it's refurbished by Apple, then that's okay. Uh, refurbished Macs from Apple are just okay. They could be just Macs out of the box that customer returned it. They call that refurbished. Um, they could actually be fixed by Apple, but if they're fixed by Apple, that's all right. If they're fixed by a third party, I don't trust that that much. So I wouldn't get one that's refurbished by somebody else. Uh, that goes for any computer out there, or especially iPhones, just in case. Um, other than that, guys, just check out the warranty, test out every single key, open some apps up. Uh, you want to test out the camera, everything, photo booth. I'll show you that right now. Okay, so once you guys turn on the Mac, it should turn on normally. Okay, um, and then you guys want to go into Safari. So just open a Safari that should be down here. If you don't find it, just go up to here where you can just search for stuff. That's Spotlight Search. It's right up here. It's just a little spotlight right here. Um, and you can just type up Safari, for example, and it should find Safari for you. And once you have that open, you guys can just go to Apple.com. And in Apple.com, we're just going to go to our next step, which is support. That's uh, right almost the last option from there we can just scroll down and you guys will see check service and support coverage from there we can just input the serial number from the Mac um, get the serial number from the Mac it's always on the back of the Mac so if you're buying an iMac it's not there but you can always go to the Apple logo right there and just go about this Mac and then you will see right there the serial number okay so I'm just gonna open that up again so about this Mac just zooming on it a little bit and there you should see the serial number so right now you guys can't see mine right now but it's there okay so it's a serial number you guys can just uh, scroll over it copy it okay you can just right click on it to copy it uh, no matter which Mac you're getting they all have right click doesn't matter what year they are they always have right click you just have to activate it if you don't have it if you don't have it active you can just press control and then right and regular click and that's it so here it tells you if he has a uh, 
warranty will tell you if it has Apple Care. If it doesn't tell you right here that it has Apple Care, it doesn't have Apple Care. Okay, I don't care if they have a receipt from Apple Care. Um, they don't have it. If it doesn't say here, it doesn't exist. Doesn't matter. Okay, so here you can check out how old it is and verify. If they lied about the age, they could be lying about other stuff. So I wouldn't suggest buying from them um, if they are lying about the age. However, some yeah, most people do lie about the age, so just take that as a point down because they could be lying about other stuff. Hopefully, they're not lying about it. And they're, uh, hopefully, they're pretty close to the real age. Okay, usually when it's close to a year old or a year and a half, they tend to say 10 months or 11 months old. So you get an idea. Anyways, um, so hopefully it does have some coverage, so you guys are find it a little bit more safe. However, Macs do last a bit of time. Um, I had a 2009 iMac that the HD just failed right now in 2015. So it lasted five years. It's not bad. Um, although it was 2009, the model, I should mention that. Uh, it was bought in 2010. So that's why I said five years. Anyways, um, something else that you guys can go into. Just spotlight search again. And you guys can go to this utility. From this utility, just open it up. And uh, by the way, uh, once you're in Safari, might as well, you know, play a movie, play some YouTube videos, maybe play this YouTube video on it and test out the sound, uh, test out if it lags or if there's anything wrong with it, play full screen so you guys can see any dead pixels. People get some dead pixels sometimes because they just leave their screens right there all the time. Uh, that can happen to any iPhone, iPad, just in case. And um, anyways, from here in Disk Utility, once you have that opened up, you guys can just go to the main HD. So you should see these two options. Just click on the second option, okay? From the second option, you guys can just go to verify disk permissions. Um, although that doesn't matter that much, so you don't have to worry about that much. Just go into the, your right side and go to verify disk. Now permissions and all that, that's more, that's more internal stuff, so software-wise if something's wrong, which as you know, software, it doesn't matter because you can just um, erase everything and just uh, restore it and uh, download everything again onto it. So if there's something wrong software-wise, it doesn't really matter. However, when you verify disk, just click on there. I'm not gonna click on there right now because it will slow down. It will take some time, so be ready to wait 10 minutes sometimes, depending on the disk and how big it is and how fast the Mac is. Okay, um, so just click on verify disk, it will see if there's anything wrong with it. If there's something wrong with the hardware, it will tell you, so it, you will know if maybe the HD is failing already. So if it's an older Mac, you could see maybe the HD is failing already. Maybe not. I've had older Macs. I'm not saying that any 2009 will only last five years. No, I've seen older Macs like this 2008 that I showed you. It still has its original HD on it. It's working fine. Um, there, I've seen 2006, 2007 Macs which still have their original HD. So it's just a matter of luck. Uh, they usually come just with a year or 90 day warranty on them. That new HDs anyways. So there you go. Um, once you verify here, you guys can see some stuff, what's wrong with it, you guys can repair a disk, um, if you guys see any errors on it, once you repair the disk, anything that hasn't been repaired, it will tell you if it's hardware, so if it's hardware, maybe consider not buying it, because something's failing already, it's gonna cost you around 200 bucks to exchange the HD on it, maybe more, maybe a little bit less, but usually 200 bucks, okay, at Apple, obviously, um, so that's one of the tests. Other than that, you guys can also test out stuff uh, such as the recovery and all that stuff. So you guys, depending on the year, you can test out different things on it. So let's just go into Safari and you guys can do a hardware test. So just type in hardware test diagnostic. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's okay actually. Well, we don't need tools, Mac. We just need Mac. And then check out the, the date. So it depends on the date. So what you guys want to do is just go to the first thing up here. So you want to do a hardware test on it. So you guys want to turn off your Mac. And once you turn it on, you have to press the D key, for example. However, again, it depends what year your Mac is, okay? Sometimes with older Macs, you need the original CD and you guys won't be able to do this diagnostics. 
um, hopefully you guys are buying a newer one which uh, you can do the diagnostics without a CD or anything and they'll make it so much easier just to see a basic look at it now not to say that this diagnostics will tell you if everything's okay but it gives you a really really good idea if everything's running okay with the Mac so hopefully you guys are able to do this now once again you just have to turn off your Mac and before you turn it on just press the, the D right there and uh, just turn it on hold the D for about 13 seconds once you see the bar starting to load you guys can let go of it uh, or you can just hang on to the letter uh, till the bar is halfway and then you guys will just see the diagnostics and see what's up with the Mac uh, besides that guys always test out videos uh, dead pixels well those are just little things that you'll see on the screen something's wrong there um, take your time with it usually sellers that are trying to scam you they're usually in, in a hurry now not to say that people can't be in a hurry but if they are I would actually take extra time looking at maybe what's wrong with this Mac okay if they're a little bit nervous that's normal if they're very nervous then you guys should always check out what's wrong with the Mac why they're selling it um, always ask why they're selling it how long they had it if it's their first Mac anything fixed on it anything changed any upgrades um, usually people usually upgrade the RAM which is good um, RAM isn't that expensive usually a hundred bucks just to pump it up um, usually they come with four gigs two gigs depending what year again and then you want to obviously expand that up to for example 2008 you can expand it up to four gigs uh, nowadays max usually come with four gigs and you want to expand up to 16 or even 32 gigs depending what Mac you're getting okay um, so something else you guys want to go obviously Apple logo you can always go about my Mac like I showed you guys before and you guys can see some details about it okay so to make sure that they're telling you everything that they said it's true okay the space on it the RAM and all that stuff um, other than that that's all you guys should be looking at take your time looking at it don't hurry and just buy it okay there's a lot of scams buying um, if you guys are buying something brand new in package uh, don't buy it take it out of the package test it out you're not buying it from a store you're buying it from somebody else that means there's no warranty on it there's no there's it could be just bricks inside that box okay so you guys could be losing a lot of money I've heard those stories with iPhones a lot of times people buy them they're in package so they look real legit once they open up the package maybe it's a different iPhone sometimes there's no iPhone in there it's just a, something with weights and that's it so people get scammed all the time so just because you're buying something that's in retail package from somebody else doesn't mean that there's something in there okay anybody can package stuff up and uh, so always make sure even if you're some, buying something new that's not from a legit store it's not from um, a retail place such as Best Buy or something like that take it out and see because they will not accept uh, returns okay and refunds uh, once you buy the Mac once it's in your hands and you take it home it's yours if it breaks too bad they will not take it back usually that's the rule and that's that's the rule because it's kind of fair to the seller as well because you, they don't really know if you drop the Mac maybe or you bumped it into something or even if you put water on it they, they, they wouldn't be able to really see what happened to it so that's why they never take it back so it's normal but um, just be careful with that again test out everything even if it's a brand new product test it out check out if it's actually new um, and that's it anyways if you guys have any comments questions suggestions you can write them down here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you